Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 with a slew of new features including an all-new Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processing engine and even an iris scanner. Is it a worthy two-jump successor to the venerable Samsung Galaxy Note 5? Let's take a look at some hot mobile hardware. The Galaxy Note 7 is easily Samsung's most premium feature-packed Android smartphone. It's available across all major carriers for a lofty $850 and a single 64GB of storage version with an absolutely beautiful 5.7-inch Super AMOLED display. We're working with a black Onyx T-Mobile variant, though silver titanium and blue coral versions are available as well. Our personal opinion is that blue coral looks fabulous and hides fingerprints much better than the black version, which is an absolute magnet. Under that gorgeous display and high gloss polished aluminum and Gorilla Glass 5 sheathing lies a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 power plant with Adreno 530 graphics, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigs of flash storage, and all the latest connectivity options like 802.11ac Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, USB 3.1, and yes, a USB type C port. Samsung bundles a healthy assortment of accessories with the Note 7, including a set of earbuds, an AC adapter, a USB-C charging cable and a couple of USB-C dongles, one for standard full-size USB and another for micro USB connections. You also get a few extra pen tips and an extractor tool for the Note 7's trademark S Pen. Handling the Note 7, you immediately get the feel of how refined the phone is. For a 5.7 inch phone, it's impressive how compact and comfortable it feels. Its glass front and rear faces are both slightly curved at the edges and feed into a smooth, polished aluminum frame and as Samsung puts it, with perfect symmetry. Frankly, we wouldn't argue that point. The left and right edges also look near bezel-less as a result, and the top and bottom face of the phone are also very compact and efficient real estate-wise. This is clearly the best-built Galaxy Note yet from Samsung, and easily the best-built true phone-tablet hybrid in the market currently. Taking a quick walk around for the Note 7, we have the standard placement of Samsung's dual-pixel 12-megapixel camera with optical image stabilization on the back of the device. On the left edge are volume up and down buttons, which also double as high-speed continuous shooting buttons for the camera, while on the right edge is the requisite power and screen lock button. On bottom is the S Pen slot, a speaker port, a mic port, a USB-C port, and yes, a dedicated headset jack is still here, thankfully. Incidentally, Samsung redesigned the S Pen so you can't inadvertently put it in the wrong way and break the slot mechanism like you could in the previous gen Galaxy Note. Now the pen just won't go in the wrong way, which is a very good thing. And finally, on top, there's a combo SIM card and micro SD card slot, which offers storage expansion up to another 256 gigabytes. And the Note 7's S Pen has learned a few handy new tricks as well, like the ability to pull out the pen without unlocking the phone and jot notes on the always on display lock screen. You can then pin that memo to the always on display or save it elsewhere. And of course, since the Note 7 is IP68 water and dust resistant, you can indeed use the S Pen when wet. And since it's driven magnetically, it works just fine underwater. Another possibly very valuable trick the S Pen has learned is translation. Well, not so much the S Pen, but as a selection tool in combination with the Note 7. Just select the translation option from the S Pen app wheel and then hover over words in a document or web page that you'd like to translate. We found, at least in our quick test with Italian, that the feature didn't always provide a direct English translation, but its enunciation was pretty good. Dirito. But circling back to the Note 7's super, super AMOLED display, it's simply 5.7 inches of the best smartphone display technology you'll find in any device. Like Samsung's AMOLED display in the Galaxy S7, colors are vibrant with gobs of saturation, great contrast, and deep blacks. It also handles relatively well in full sunlight. Samsung's smartphone display technology is the small screen to beat these days. 
bar none. In addition, Samsung has enhanced their always on display implementation now as well, with the ability to customize various lock screen display formats and even interact with it now. Finally, along the top front face of this Galaxy, along with its 5 megapixel front facing camera, there's the Note 7's highlight feature, an iris scanner that actually works quite well. It might not be as quick as a fingerprint reader, but it's more secure and once trained to scan both your eyeballs with its infrared emitter, it does unlock the phone quickly and flawlessly. You can even customize the mask area of the scanner on your display if it helps you line things up better. However, the scanner works very quickly and there were very few, if any, false rejects. And fooling it with pictures of eyes and the like was not an option. Samsung has done a nice job of cleaning up and even flattening their user interface skin over Android Marshmallow, now called TouchWiz Grace. Grace has simpler, cleaner menus with integrated search functions all over the place, including Google Now integration. There's also a blue light filter available now for subdued nighttime viewing, and the Note 7 did pick up Samsung's Edge display panel, though frankly, it's a feature that we personally wouldn't use all that much. Samsung also streamlined the Note 7's camera UI with swipes left and right to bring up various shot modes and features, including, of course, a powerful manual mode. You've got all the features you'd ever want in a smartphone camera here, but where the Note 7, like its smaller sibling, the Galaxy S7, excels is auto mode shooting with auto HDR enabled. We grab shots in various lighting conditions, and Samsung's camera setup with the Note 7 absolutely killed it, easily pulling stills and video just as impressive as the Galaxy S7 line. Pics were sharp with great color and vibrance and balance and accuracy. Even in low light conditions, the Galaxy Note 7, like its Galaxy S7 counterpart, handles really well. Just look at the pop in some of these shots. Samsung's smartphone camera performance is simply best of class once again in the Galaxy Note 7. While shooting HD video, the Note 7 handles admirably as well, with excellent autofocus response and image stabilization. Oh. Also, in terms of the OS, which again is an Android Marshmallow derivative, Samsung phones seem to be more prone to a form of bit rot that degrades performance over time. For many users, after months of regular use, their phones get sluggish and need to be factory reset to return them to their original peppy state. Since we haven't enjoyed long-term use with the Note 7 as of yet, we can't comment on whether or not the device suffers this same fate, but we're hopeful Samsung will keep an eye on this and look for solutions to mitigate it in the future, perhaps with better maintenance and file system garbage collection algorithms. Out of the box, however, the Galaxy Note 7 is lightning fast and a pleasure to work with, with very responsive menu transitions and app loading, along with the class-leading horsepower of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 820 and Adreno 530 graphics engine. In graphics and gaming, especially the Note 7 dominates, just like phones like the Galaxy S7 and Motorola's Moto Z family, both of which are powered by the Snapdragon 820 as well. In short, the Note 7 is one of the most powerful and fastest Android smartphones in the market today, and its benchmark numbers speak for themselves. As far as battery life goes, we haven't gotten through our standard testing gauntlet, but so far, the Note 7 has held up competitively, easily offering a full day's worth of uptime on its 3500 milliamp hour battery, which is only slightly smaller than what's in the Galaxy S7 Edge. Our early analysis is that the Note 7 is competent and capable, though not necessarily standout in this area. In the final analysis, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is a fantastic and roomy Android smartphone that actually feels smaller than its spacious 5.7 inch display really should in the hand and looks fabulous with an impeccable super premium design. It's also powerful and feature packed with tools you simply won't find on any other smartphone in the market currently. If you're in the hunt for a flagship Android experience, though it's definitely pricey, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is a pretty fantastic device and an easy hot hardware editor's choice. Ah, but make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review and tap that like button if you enjoyed this and hit subscribe if you don't mind for more tech product reviews, industry event coverage, and our always a chuckle two and a half geeks webcast. It's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>